Parkinson's patient walk and talk again. Patients with Parkinson's disease and Lewy body dementia have found a new hope on life. According to the presentation of Dr. Sharbla Mauza and Dr. Fernando Pagan from Georgetown University Medical Center in Washington. This week at Neuroscience 2015, on October 17th to 21st, in Chicago, Illinois. An expensive anti-cancer drug, reverse even late-stage Parkinson's disease, enabling them to speak and walk again for the first time after years. Dopamine production increased in patients to the extent that dopamine drugs can be lowered or stopped. There are several treatments for the symptoms of Parkinson's, but this would be the first time a drug has worked on the causes of the disease. Nilotinib, a drug for chronic myelogenous leukemia and the dose from 150 to 300 mg a day over 6 months does this miracle. Previous studies have shown that the onset of dementia causes an increase in tau and p tau and cerebrospinal fluid. And as Parkinson's worsens, it causes a decrease in ascenic line and a beta 40 40 seconds in CSF. In the study, tau and p tau decrease significantly, suggesting the clearance of toxic proteins in the brain, while alpha ascenic line, amyloid beta 40 40 seconds rose. Nilotinib appears to penetrate the blood-brain barrier in amounts greater than dopamine drugs. All patients experienced benefits and clinical improvements, but the most dramatic was in their behavior. Most patients experienced an improvement in cognition, motor skills and non-motor function improvement such as constipation. One individual confined to a wheelchair was able to walk again. Three others who could not talk were able to hold conversations. On stopping the nilotinib treatment patients again underwent cognitive and motor decline. Participants with earlier stages of the disease responded best than those diagnosed with Lee body dementia, a combination of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. Nilotinib in higher doses leads to the death of tumor cells. In smaller, daily doses, nilotinib, clean out the cells without causing cell death. Then abnormal proteins that build up again will be cleared when the drug is given the next day. In this treatment, the doses were far smaller, and the drug was well tolerated with no serious side effects, suggesting safe usage. Thank you.